We're live on Adobe Radio. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in live to Adobe Radio. Our guest today is the OG guest. <laughs> the number one guest. My, what? Honestly, probably my favorite guest. Oh my God, say it is so. It is so, Britt Robertson. Oh, hi, we say I'm, oh I'm so happy to be here. Me too. In your world. This is our world right now. Oh, yes, happy to be here. Um, you know, cheers to you. Oh, cheers to you for being an amazing person. Thank we'll, you. We'll cheers with some magic mind. Honestly, it's taken too long to get to this bit. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, you went straight to it. Oh, I love it. This is like the perfect amount of... Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah. It's actually kind of not what I expected. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah, no, in a great way. Subtly sweet. That's yeah. what I That's what I got from it. It gives me the perfect amount of energy without being jittery I'm afterwards. I'm also really hoping to get focused. Is I'm it, telling you, you, it's magic mind. It's it's I know. unbelievable. Nootropics is supposed to help me stay focused. It, it has Those like mushrooms in there, like cordyceps, lion's mane, and like a bunch of other healthy stuff. It's oh God, all natural. I love and... mushrooms. Really? Yeah. Oh, same. Yeah. Um, it's been a while since we've seen each other. It has. Yep. The strike is officially over. Woo! Congrats to us. And Kill then me. I'm sorry about your show being canceled. Yeah. Rookie feds. It was a real. I'm not gonna lie. The um juxtaposition between the flood of text messages of people being like congratulations we did it which by the way i still don't really know what we did because i haven't read the contract but i'm excited mm. to see it um and i was you know and i weirdly got this feeling that for some reason it, it didn't feel good and for a couple days i was like oh why am i not excited why am i not excited about this it feels like everyone's like congratulating us why am i not excited and then the show got canceled and i was like oh <laughs> that's why I'm not excited. Your sixth sense popped you know, in. Yeah. Popped in. I love that. I know. I, I mean, know. I love that you have that sensitivity. Well, I, I actually think that it was my body's way of preparing myself for uh, something. You know, it was my way of coping. It was like, oh, we're 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 gearing up to be sad. Yeah. You know. You you have been without a phone now for a while. You just got a phone back. Yeah. And, and we it's not even a new phone. It's this old cracked phone I found in a closet. What? It's true. I'll show you. You'll be like, what? Why Why not get a brand new phone? Well, I think that's silly. Um, <laughs> because what do you mean it's silly? Well, I'll, once you know why I lost my phone, then you'll know why it's silly to buy a new phone. All right. Um, but but I, I just, well, first of all, I had just bought a new phone because I had this cracked phone. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm a married woman now. I need a real woman's phone. Um, but then I made, but then I realized that phones were the devil and, oh, shit. <laughs> and, and chucked my phone into my friend's bushes as like a statement. And, um, and so then, yeah, I just decided, well, let's commit to this statement mm -hmm. and go phoneless. And it was a perfect time because it was a strike. Nobody's really contacting me. And if they do, rude um so yeah i just went phoneless and it was amazing and people had to convince like talk me back into uh or talk me into getting a phone back because they were concerned for my safety you know i was traveling the world so yeah well then yeah that would be a probably a good idea i know i know but everyone's like well you know robert de niro's got the flip like those old flip phones i'm like e yeah but i mean I Overrated, by the way. Those I don't want to. Yeah, because here's the thing. I don't actually want to be on the phone. Uh, if anything, I'll communicate via text. But I'm certainly not going to go like you know, m m m just to get or whatever it is. You yeah. Know, yeah. You know, like five 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 just to get to like the letter O. I mean, that seems no, no. like a waste of my time. We're not cavemen here. Please. Right. Wow. Very overrated. The flip phones. I have the I have a little bit of a fear if I ever go off the grid, like mm. if I have a ranch in the mountains somewhere, it will take convincing to get me off the ranch. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. do I really want to come back? No. Especially if it's self sustained, oh, then I'm like, the dream. I'm like, I don't think I'm coming back. Yeah. Especially with the way the world is, yeah. the way I've learned about corporate greed, 
over the last Snarly. year. It's been a year almost. <sighs> and then also, um, I, I don't like <sighs> rich laws. people. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like laws that don't make sense. Guess who got pulled over yesterday? If you say you, I'll be shooketh. Me. What? Yeah. Bah! Now, that was that, that was a negative bah. That's that's a rare bah it's just, right there. Yeah, it's just what? Why? What'd you do? Stop and go traffic. It like literally stop for a little bit and go on the 101. Ah. And my car is in auto drive. So literally all I have to do is hang on to one uh like my hand onto the steering wheel and I'm fine. Like it drives by itself. Right. So like I I, I have to hold on with one hand at least. Oh. And so literally stop and go. Traffic stopped. Grabbed my phone, oh. looked at my emails for a little bit, put it down. Car went by itself. Whip, 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 whip. Yep. Yep. Guess what? Probably a two hundred dollar ticket. No. What? Texting and driving, we Sam. Wasn't texting. Okay, emailing and driving. Wasn't emailing. Checking my emails. Oh. And also the car is driving itself, Britt. I know, but see, this is the problem with the self-driving cars. Because I think, you know, how are these sweet little... I don't know if he's sweet. He's probably a douche cop dude. But how are they supposed to know that you're doing the right thing? You know what? Here's what you know when you get a vibe, your sixth sense comes in. First of all, I feel like he was looking for people. Yeah, he's because bored. It's stop he's on and stop it, and go. He's it, like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Honestly, you're highway patrolman. It's stop and go traffic on the one on one. Yeah. Really, what's going? Like, really? Did you give him a little bit of pushback? No, because his vibe was the kind of vibe where you're like, you know what? All right, I get it. You have the power right now. Ugh. Cool. All right. Power trip. And here's the thing: if there's like no crime in L.A. Then I'd be like, all right, yeah. Sure. Ah. You know what? You know what? Even if I was here, here's the thing: if I was going sixty on the highway, and let's say it was an auto drive, and I'm and I'm on my phone, that's dangerous. Oh my god, yeah. Or I was swerving, or I almost hit somebody. All of that, I totally would be like, you know what? Okay, I deserve that ticket. But for the fact that I I picked it up literally ruin the same. I literally picked it up the same level as my giant screen on the Teslas. You know they have those giant screens so that I'm not having my head down. So Braggy. I'm like literally doing like this. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. I put it back down. Yeah. It is yeah, what it is. Th- no, I just it think is what at, it is. at that point, you, you you know, going into the de- – I mean, what are you going to say to the cop? Look, sir, you know, I hold it up and it's close to the big screen and it's there. You know, it, once you get to that point, once you're pulled over and he's like, oh, license and registration, it's just – it's over. I, I, I don't like being over. punished I for know. things that don't make sense. Totally. Totally. Who likes to feel like they're in trouble? No one. But, but here's my thing. Here's my thing. There's got to be a lesson. What's the lesson? What's the lesson? I know um, already. Okay, go ahead because I don't know. Okay. Um, kindness. Oh. It was a lesson in kindness for you. Hmm. Yeah. Kindness to who? Uh, well, to yourself. Hmm. You know, you. I, I'm sure it's clear you didn't beat yourself up for this. <laughs> 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 so I, you are showing yourself some kindness, sweetie. Mm-hmm. And then um and then um uh kindness to this man who was it a man? I don't want to assume his gender, but yeah. Yeah, you 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 <laughs> mentioned yeah. he. So I, yeah. I I I don't know. I, I clued into that. But it seemed like you were showing him some kindness cuz you were reading his vibe and you're like, "You know what? I'm not going to play this game. He's in a he's a sad sack of a human." And I've, I've turned his personality into so many different things at this point. Because who knows what he was going well, through. You know, uh, he pulled me over in a bus lane. You know, the bus lane on the 101 going south towards downtown. Oh, yes, yes. And this bus lane. And so he pulls me over, gives me the ticket. I start driving off, and there's another highway patrolman at the end of the bus lane. As soon as I pass that uh, highway patrolman, lights come on. They, that second police officer pulls me over. And I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> Am I going to get double ticketed? Wait, what? Yeah, there's another... P- highway patrolman at the end of the bus lane so he pulls me over and he goes hi there oh. he's like you know this is a bus lane oh, and i'm like my okay now i'm ready to get out the big guns don't don't <laughs> put them away put out put, 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 Ooh, oh. i'm holding myself back uh, no but that's like kind i mean this is humorous at this point so he goes 
uh, I go, I literally just got pulled over by uh, another police officer. And he, he's like, oh, the, you just got pulled over. And he sees the ticket in the passenger seat. And I'm like, you could check the time if you'd like. Because he's looking back and he can't see the other police officer. And I'm like, of course you can't see the other police officer. Now of course you can't. Big old liar pants. But then he was like, sorry about that. You know, drive safe. And I was yeah. like, all right. But I just thought it'd be funny. We got to get these guys off the highway. I mean, they need to be doing some real, like, uh, criminal work. No? I mean, you're the least criminal human I know. but here's the thing is this going to stop me from checking my email on the phone and stop and go traffic no if anything it'll probably you know make you want to do it more like oh remember that one time when that guy pulled me over for doing this <laughs> 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 you know <laughs> oh my uh, god stupid. okay uh have you been to England since you've been married I have yes a few times or a couple times one oh, time oh um uh twice 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 okay we're at London London and he, uh, my my husband's family lives in Birmingham which is like Alabama I know no nah. that's, a stupid that's joke. no but they they you know if my husband was here he would say well like I'm not gonna do his accent. I don't know why. Why even try attempted it. that? No, 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 Please no, 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 okay. no, no, no. I could do a really good British accent. Really? Oh yeah. Okay, so say this. Um, uh, they got, <laughs> they, they, they stole the name Birming, Birmingham mm -hmm. from the Brits. Right. In Birmingham. Right. Oh, is that it? That's your accent. Oh, I'm from uh, Birmingham. Huh? Oh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Maybe I should try mine then. Oh, Birmingham, huh? Birmingham, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him I'm like, you're gonna love the podcast we did today. I actually did do my English accent. <laughs> and he's just gonna hear us go, Obama what? <laughs> I'm sweating. That's okay, me too. I'm crying. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Leaky. I really missed you, Britt. I missed you. Uh, you know yeah. what I really miss? What? Like, like uh, Warrior. I always think about you as like Warrior We Sam. Like sometimes. Oh. I've been, well, well, because I've been doing. So I made like a, a home gym during the uh, strike. Because I was like, all right, you know, got to keep myself mentally aware. Yeah. And sometimes when I'm in the gym, like. <clears throat> I hear you like sort of speaking, you know, in my mind and it's just like you can do it. One more. One more. Climb the hill. Climb the hill. Keep Cause remember that time we went to the we did the stairs and yeah. you told me the story about the warrior and and I don't know, I just I just, you're like no, no clue. I'm always <laughs> talking about the warrior. <laughs> that is my life. I am warrior. Um but uh, yeah, no, I just I have that because you can. I think it's difficult when you're working out by yourself to like push yourself. Sometimes you're just like, cool, three sets, that's the number, you yeah. know. But like, let's try for the fourth. Yeah. You know, and so and it's always that little, like we Sam voice inside of me that goes like, you can, you can, you can handle a little more. Aw, well, I'm glad I'm a positive impact on your life. Oh, yes, you are. I was going to make a joke, but there's no need to. There's no need to. You know, um, something I think you'd love is jujitsu. I've been into that I know. You told me that. Yeah. And you just get to roll around and tackle, pe tackle people? Yeah. Yeah, literally yesterday after the ticket, it helped tremendously. Oh, I like bet. Like going afterwards and trying to choke people and the people oh, trying to choke you. Oh, that sounds nice. It actually is very, very... Mm. Um, it releases a lot of stress and anxiety. When you're do, doing the, the jujitsu, are you present? You probably have to be super present. You're not like in your head like, because for me, I find activities where I can just get out of my head uh, and I have to be so focused and in the moment. Those things are like the best for my mental health. And so I'm wondering if that's sort of an element of jujitsu where you're like, you can't think about anything else because you, you got this guy who's like trying to, you know, strangle you. I don't yeah, know. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And you're forced to live in the, in the present moment. It's uh, yoga's great, but it feels like you have to work into that present moment. Right. And oh you're my. constantly fighting Ugh. to stay in present the moment. So uh, hard. But with jujitsu, you have no option. Oh, I love that. You're forced into it. And also, it's very uncomfortable. Like, for me, it still makes me nervous rolling with uh, anyone. 
I'm, I get nervous. Like, there's that nerve feeling. But once you like start... Like, they could kill me? No, no, no. Not that you're going to get hurt or oh. injured. But any kind of confrontational or... Oh, yes, um, of course. Like, you, you know, and then the, the negative thoughts start coming in. Like, what if you get injured? What if this person embarrasses you? Oh. And it all goes away once you start. That's the beautiful part. Like, the hardest part is just accepting the role or the match and mm -hmm. just... And, and there's a class that happens beforehand, so you're learning techniques, Ooh. and you're you're trying to coordinate body movement that feels awkward at first, mm -hmm, but then, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been doing it now just a little bit over a year, just a year, and so cool. I can't express to you the improvement. I still have a, a long ways to go, but looking back at when I first started, it's like, whoa, I, I didn't think I would, I don't want to say get to this point, but... You know when you first start off something and you're yeah. so terrible at it? Ugh. You're like, how am I going to make my body move this way? And then mm. you start doing it instinctively in a match or a role. And you're oh. like, oh, that's really cool. So that's why I think you would like it a lot. Oh. And you're more than welcome to join because there's there's females there. And it's a really cool place. It's yeah. Little Tokyo Fight Club. Cool. It's, monthly fees are so affordable. It's only 45 bucks a month for un unlimited. And we have two amazing teachers there, James and Edmund. They're black belts, competitive level, level like elite level black belts. Oh, cool. And um, the most friendly people, no, no assholes. Yeah. You're not going to get injured. Oh. And you learn so much. And it's just the, one of the most positive things I've introduced into my life. I'm really strong right now. Great. So I feel like I'd be a good addition. You know what? You are more than welcome to club. join. I'll, I'll text you. And if you ever want to yeah, come. Yeah, please do. Because I, I think that's so... <clears throat> On that topic of like learning the new, learning a new skill. And as an adult, it's weird to learn a new skill because it's not like, you know, it's not like when you're 10 and you're like, wow, like nobody really knows what they're doing. You know, eventually we'll get like really good at this. We're yeah. all kind of on the same level. But as an adult, you're, you're, you know, in the ring or whatever, you're on the ground on the, the mat, floor, yeah. the mat. Yeah. Um, you know, you're rolling around with people of all different like expertise level and it really for me I find that stuff to be a like it's it's but it's a nice push outside of my own comfort zone. So I just started playing on a uh soccer, well, I guess it's been a little over a year now. Um on a soccer team. We're called the Warm Bodies. It's a co-ed league uh for adults. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? It's for kids. It's just, it's it's just kids and Brits me there. and all the kids. Uh, yeah, but funny enough, my husband is now like uh, teaching a like seven year old um, oh. soccer league, and so I'm also doing that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just got to keep myself busy with these hobbies. Um, but also, you know, he moved here and he's really into the old football, as they call it. And I was like, you know, I love sport. Like, I love sports love sports so um i was excited to join this team and everybody's so bad mainly they're just like not athletic people and so i felt like i could do it you know i, I that's the only thing i have is like is like i can run around a lot and try to do something and they they call me a a dog chaser or something a doggy i'm doing the doggy where i'm like <laughs> where i'm just not... wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. let's just slow oh, down let's, she's let's go doing back to the doggy <laughs> let's let's come back to second gear no, no i think I it just means i chase people around like i don't really know what to do so <laughs> uh -oh. i just i'm chasing people around it, trying to get the ball what's it called doing the doggy that can't be right that i don't think that sounds Some right Brit. slang <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doing the doggy <laughs> yeah I just learned about this phrase yesterday. I was like, and they were like, oh, Britt does a lot of doggies. And I was like, what, what, what's a doggy? What's a doggy? And then they told me it's where I chase people around. But again, it could be not doggy. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> could be kitty. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. I missed you. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> no, but oh, sorry. But my point being yeah. was that it was really hard to start on this team because I, I every, anytime somebody he passes me the the ball i'm like okay i know what to do and then i just miss it i it just That's goes okay. right past me and, yeah you know but. i have you ever done any type of grappling or any any martial art like that i know you've probably kicked you've done kickboxing and stuff like that yes that's yeah. true yeah um no but i really enjoy wrestling i've been asking um my my husband just to do some wrestling around the house sometimes because it's that same thing where i'm like oh just like roll around on the ground and like put each other in a headlock. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like pillow fight, but better. Right? Yeah. It, there's something intrinsic. There's something like deep in your DNA that you want to do it, right? Yeah. That's why I think. Animalistic. I think you'd be addicted to jujitsu, in Ooh, all honesty. Boy. Because I know you. Yeah. And I, I have a good feeling once you start it, you're going to be like, this is what I want to do now. Wouldn't it be amazing if then like every time I showed up somewhere, I just tackle the person and then we're just rolling around on the ground and anywhere this is probably not what jujitsu is i'm just imagining that you're you're, you're locked in and yeah you're rolling and you're running. Yeah. and then it's it's honestly more mental than you would think oh it's a puzzle piece it's oh. like a rubik's cube oh that you're of trying course to f- yes oh of course Ooh. and the, and the difference hmm. you won't you won't notice it when you are doing it yeah but Whenever you've been doing it for a little bit, yeah, and someone brand new comes to it, oh. every single brand new person, most people are exactly the same. They're literally like, they're so tense oh. and they're so like, oh, like, interesting. like, yeah. and, and it is the instinct, right, to just d- get real uh, uh, tense, I guess, you know, right, and so you want to like doesn't... try to push yeah. the person down, or you know, you don't know what you're doing, and. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, I'm in a compromising position. I don't even know how I got here. And um, you don't realize how awkward it is to do it in the beginning yeah. until you start doing it. And then when you start learning, okay, I can, okay, I'm supposed to put my, my knee up here. I'm yeah. framing, I'm protecting myself here. I'm trying to stay in a ball. And then, I don't know, it's just, it's just been really nice. And it's also oh. non-acting, which I think is... I'm sick of acting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is important, though, to do something like completely outside totally. the realm of um, of the create of, of that creative. Because it's you get the fatigue a little bit. You're like, ah, I don't have any more options for this. Like, I feel yeah. like I've done, you know, I've done this. I, I'm 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 creatively crushed. So to get physical is like, ooh. And you know what? Jam. Honestly, I used Magic Mind before. Uh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Before jujitsu or any type of uh, like activity, because if I have too much caffeine, yeah, I I gas out too early. Get but the shakes. But this magic mind is like perfect. It's the perfect amount of energy. A little dose. And it has cordyceps mushrooms because those help with oxygen intake, and it gives me better like um, like respiratory uh, like uh, endurance basically. Amazing. And I love it. It's very and nice. You can feel that. You can feel the. Uh, you're like, oh man. I, I I forgot to take it, and then you can feel, like, a difference, or you go, mm. like, oh, man, I'd love some magic mind right now. Yeah, no, you feel a difference, 100%. And makes when me you want take more, it, kind of. I know. I, I wonder if they ever sell, like, a bigger bottle. No. That would probably be dangerous. Yeah, we're not Because this has the, green tea. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. It, you want be, this This, this is the dose. bottle. You, see, this is my addictive personality. This is my fifth one. Uh, the day. No. Wait, really? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is, you this don't have an addictive personality, do you? Maybe. Really? Maybe. Because I feel like that's like the the opposite of what you practice. No, I mean certain things are addictive. I mean, maybe I'm more aware it's just to stop things. Right, you've self control. I think I have a decent amount of self control. Like yeah. for instance, video games. <sighs> Elden yeah. Ring, Peyton. Remember when I was on my Elden Ring kick? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What the heck is an Elden Ring? Britt, can I... Okay, this just got real. By the way, I have a big... Surpr- uh, we just started a new thing. Where we uh, we opened up a We Sam's World like hotline kind of thing, and people share their... No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> and so fun! We, ha- we, we have... We've, um, I think we have a message today, and what's cool is people leave a voicemail, and we kind of told them who our guest would be, and so it like curates to oh, the guest. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's and- so cute. I want to start like leaving some... Some tips, some hotline, some love. like, hey, yeah. with him, it's me. Bah! You yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that after the Elden Ring story, okay, cool. which I'm super excited to, to bring up. Um, but Elden Ring is this video game, yeah. which is unlike any other video game I've ever played in my entire life. Ooh, your eyes are scaring me, Brit. I was in. This was a. You were in what? I, I was in the game. Oh, yes. <laughs> I felt oh. like you were my therapist and you were mm-hmm. like, okay. No, no, I would Time be, to up the prescription. I'd be covering way better if I was your therapist. But I'm, I'm giving you my best, like, eye roll right now. Brit, I mean, I love video games. I no. hate them. Do you hate video games? Hate. Wait, are you being serious right now? Hate. I can't tell if this is a bit. No, no bit. No what bit. What do you mean you hate video and games? You know what Who I hates also, video games? Uh, me. And you know what I also don't like? Board games. You know what? What they make me bored. 
slam. <laughs> okay. Dunk. Dunk. Yeah. All right. Get back to the olden. Wait a minute. <laughs> Britt. Britt. Britt Robertson. It's surely got to have somebody on here who can come in and be like, ah, let's let's talk about video games exclusively. I'm not that girl. Britt Jameson <laughs> Robertson Floyd. <laughs> Jameson. I love that. Can I make that my new middle name? Jameson. Is there an N in there? Wait, two N's? Jameson? How about just Jameson? <laughs> Depending on the mood, sure. <laughs> Jameson Robertson Floyd. Floyd. Sin. Sin. <laughs> we sound like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're not saying any words. No, I'm being serious. Uh, so you're you... in the game. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is the most detailed, emotionally driven game. There was an atmosphere. You're looking at me like I'm crazy right I now. I hate this. You know what? Okay, this is going to be a real rogue. Because I, 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 look, I can't relate to this Elden story. So I, I'm just diverting us. Okay. The, and by the way, this is, <laughs> I just, I think Elden's silly and we have to boot him. Uh, I, oh, oh, then get to it. Then tell us your story. Brit, you are, you are literally dismissing the, probably silly. the best video game ever. Boo. What do you mean, boo? Here's the thing. Okay, th and this is going to be a reach. And I, I don't know how your your viewers are going to feel about this or your listeners are going to feel about this. But, <laughs> this is so bad. Do you know about the Unabomber? And we'll be right back after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know about the Unabomber. But do you know why he did what he did? Um... I'm going to say Because of the video games. No, he didn't. It's this. It's too much. We've gone too far. No, Brit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've gone I'm, too far. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brit. What Roman, during the Roman Empire's, uh, which, uh, which video games did the Romans play? None. That's the point. We've gone too far. That's the point. No. No, but you know what I mean? Because no. it's Because, because what do you find beauty in? What do you find, other than Elden, what do you find beauty in? In Elden Ring? No. <laughs> no. In Elden. life. In oh, life. It's wait, like, wait, wait. In life? What do you mean in life? Like, like what? what do you respond to? You know what I respond to? I respond to a run, like the wind hitting oh, my face. Oh, I got face. you one. I know. I got you. I got you one. You want to respond to? I respond to storytelling. Storytelling that's, that's driven by emotional connection. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna Read a book. Read Get a creative. Book. Have you ever, Do you know the game God of War? I hate this. I hate this so much. Uh, God know, of War? Is can, it a video game? It is a video game. Can, then can, I'm out. No. You know what you're dismissing? One of the best father-son stories you have ever heard of in your all life. All right, well then make a movie. Oh God of War. God. In all honesty, and I've never said this to you, I am I feel like joking you. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I'm Brit. ready. I'm Brit. strong. Brit. You know that I um, squatted 120 pounds the other day? Which I am less than that. I, I squatted 120 pounds the other day, and that was after doing 60 other squats of various different weights. That's what I respond to. The beauty in your body. The, <laughs> uh, and how it can just perform with such excellence. Britt, you're driving me literally crazy right now All with right. this statement. Really? Are you trying to convince me to like what play video games? No, no, no. I, Nobody wants that. No, but I'm trying to tell you, I think your perception on video games is a little shallow. I, and I, I hope that doesn't come off like disrespectful. It's a little like surface because this the, the God of War video game. And I think Peyton can. Uh, Peyton, have you, did you finish God of War? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you it finish? Like, it's not a book. You mean you complete the game? Yeah, but that that's finished. So you just... Done with the game. <laughs> we <laughs> completed the game. Yeah, the yeah. is done. Yeah, we don't play it forever. I mean, that's crazy, you guys. Uh, that's crazy. Games what? aren't meant to end like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just supposed to go like, well, ah, I, I done. Think... <laughs> I mean, I don't think I, I don't know anyone who's, and I, I've gone really far in Mrs. Pac-Man, and I've never seen the end. I think, I think <laughs> you don't know how games have evolved over time, because it, it's so much different from, Mrs. Pac-Man now. It's all about storytelling. If I, I you think, say storytelling one more like time. It's like an interactive movie. An interactive movie. Think of it that way. I don't like it. it, it do I need to talk about the Unabomber some more? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <Yes>. Because <laughs> he he had a point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wait, bro, wait. Wait. 
wait a minute. No, no. Uh, it, it's teachings. Yikes. Yikes. Sorry, I watched, yikes. I watched the TV show. Hey, yikes. 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 I, know, yikes. I know, I know. Yikes. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. No, you, no, no. But no. I just no, think, a bit. like, you got to get, like, way, you got to simplify. Simplify. These, they don't need to look like that. These, they don't need to look more real than me. Brit, you know, I've you know? cried. I cried at a, por- a point in God of War. That's <laughs> really, I want to say pathetic, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna. Because <laughs> it's not. That's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Emotions go ba- go, are good, I go, guess. Go back to ha- not having a phone for a while. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> R- highly recommend it. But now that the unions, you know, whatever, I yeah, like they did the- their thing, so I have to, like, answer the phone now. No, but uh, moving on for – Yeah. Sp- but staying on video games, what have they <laughs> – What have they – Done to me? No, no, no. There's, like, the contracts with video games. Oh, uh, I'm not worried about it because I'm not doing oh. it. Where did that go? Like, did that did that go anywhere? That's what I'm curious about. I I haven't heard back from it. <laughs> well, you seemed a little overly concerned in the first place, so maybe that's why they haven't given you any information on it. Ma'am, <laughs> you, you know what I haven't heard from the uh, rules on video games and whether or not we're allowed to do stuff with them. Uh, it's like you're you're a good storyteller, and I'm not saying that that doesn't mean you can't be doing <laughs> video games. I'm just saying like I want to see. You, I want to see the wrinkles in your face. I want to see the freckles on your nose. I want to, yeah, but not but, those fake ones that they paint on for the hours. They paint. Or, it's not paint. It's it's, it's mocap. Yeah, that's not real. They're 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 editing like, it afterwards. They're the little dots of people's heads. Peyton, I'm about to have a brain aneurysm. Please convince her. Please say something to her. To, I'll say something. Alex, the cutscenes are beautiful. The cutscenes? What? So in the video games now, the cutscenes? What? That's what we're talking about, right? Cutscenes in so, video games. I don't know so, what you're talking about. So, like, when you play a game, yeah, because um, I didn't play God of War, but I actually Good. made him not play, so I could watch the cutscenes. What is a cutscene? You mean so, the scenes they so cut? You, so you play it right, and yeah. then you hit a certain part in that, and then it's like watching a movie. You guys, and, <laughs> and no, it. I'll just say it. There, it's a really good story. Okay, um, so you don't have yeah. to play the game, but you can watch but you it. You could watch it. Okay, I do because all right, I, I, it's a fair point, right? And I like that. And you could even just go online and say, uh, "Show me all the cutscenes only," <laughs> and it's like watching a really great story That's because beautiful. they have gotten some really good stories. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but you don't have to play the game. Yeah, because also I don't have that like competitive thing where I'm like, "Ooh, I want to like jump off the." I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know yeah. what you guys are doing over there. It's water, we Sam. Yeah, but I didn't open this. What do you? Oh, I'm, I might have. Sometimes I get a little trigger happy over here. <laughs> My like, ah, juices. <laughs> All uh, right. But on a side note, uh, contracts with actors for oh. video games. Um, they mentioned that it's not something that we can set up an actual contract with uh, for all video games in general. It has to be negotiated with each different um, mm. video game creator. Oh, let me guess. They, they don't punted have, it. They yeah. punted it to the next time. You know, everything that I'm deeply concerned <laughs> with, they're like, oh, we're going to we're going to deal with that one in three years. I'm yeah. like, what, what are we dealing with now? Yeah, there's no there's no solid contract for that. Oh, we don't know. Joy. No contracts, no nothing. No. Fran. Okay, you know what's so crazy? I grew up watching The Nanny. Same. Lo- really? Yeah. Loved The Nanny. Yeah. Re- I guess it would have been reruns. I don't know. It was like Nick and Knight, whatever. Loved The Nanny. Mm. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be like watching Fran Drescher. I mean, maybe we love her. I don't know. I've had a hard time with it, uh, to be honest with you. I'm super pro union, whatever. But like, I know a lot of people that just need to get back to work. So my whole thing, and you know, obviously, there's points in time where you just start to villainize anyone who's standing in the way, you know. Um, But never in my wildest dreams as a child did I think I'd be on the sidelines being like, come on, nanny, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I, and, and I'm happy she's the one doing it, because, but, I, look, I, I just want to know what we got. What'd we get? Crickets. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, overall, I was happy with what we were able to Why fight. can't I read it? Where is it? They finally just posted it. You need it. email. You need a phone to check it. Oh, they finally just posted. Yeah. Hoping none of us would read it and be like, what? Why didn't 
and they deal with the exclusivity. I don't know. That's just someone. Uh-huh. That's something <laughs> someone said. I don't know. I don't actually know what that even means. Um, I'm just. No. Overall, it's actually. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's frustrating that the stuff we held out for could have been. We could have they the they could have just said fine fine after a month you know what I mean or less than that like why oh, did they it was the AI extended, why did they extend it out to this long that's my issue like the, with the the I know, the right? s- studios why did they lose billions of dollars and affect this many people's lives when now we've just gone to the same point that like it doesn't make sense like it makes me think did you really think that people were in, we're going to be okay with what you were offering? Oh, I, I was like, great. Yeah, let's just go back to work. I don't need any more than I had before. But that's because, and it all comes back to the Unabomber, I don't I don't worry about the AI, you know? I'm not worried because it's so far, be worried, but though. it's so far beyond no, my comprehension. It is, like, beyond, is beyond your comprehension. And I think this also goes back to your game playing. Mm-hmm. Too much AI. You know, I don't know if that's also AI. Is it? Is well, it? there's AI in video exactly. games. Exactly, and extent. that's the problem, and that's why I don't support it. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> I um, knew I'd be able to get him away from the. All right, we um, videos. let's listen to our our first caller, which I'm super excited about. Who left a message? Oh, cute. Yeah, uh, Peyton. Hey, or fr- oh, here we go. Friends, Jasmine Savoy, Bob Bob Brown here. I have some big news to share. Brown Salt is back, baby. During the strike, it made me realize that my true passions and skill are in salt making, and I'm making a comeback. I'm not going to let any of the other salt companies keep me down. That being said... (laughs) She sounds down. I need money. (laughs) Bad. Like, for real. I spent my last 100 grand on research trying to get blind cats to see again. Did you write that Let's just say it's not possible with today's science. Also, I think the research place <laughs> I gave the money to was a scam. Yeah, definitely. We live and learn. Anyways, Britt. Hey, girl. Can you spot me like 50000 Canadian dollars? Canadian. I promise you, I can pay you back in like five years or so. Weesom won't give me any more because... You gave her money? Well, he needs it for bills. Ha, 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 ha,
I think that we should continue to fight against all that stuff because there's um, Ugh, there's a lot it. of issues with being able to just do that. Anybody can do that. I think I should just get into theater. Okay. Well, because, like, it just feels so, com- like, I don't know. I've been, acti- I've been acting for 20 years. I just saw my SAG card. I got my SAG, SAG card in 2003 or something like that. 20 years I've been, mm-hmm. like, a SAG member. Um, <laughs> and um, I, it's just, like, it, the business has evolved so much. I don't, like, recognize what the business is now. And that's fine. That's fair. That's what life is. But, um, but I don't think that I should have to hold myself to these, like, I don't think that I necessarily have to evolve with the industry. I think it's okay and fair because it's my choice and as long as I can afford my life then my choice mm-hmm. um, that I I can still play the same game that I started playing 20 years ago which is like go into a room zoom do your acting zoom I said zoom mm. did you hear it yeah 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 you know, because sometimes I'm thinking, it's just, I'm just thinking now. about what you're saying. So, yeah. well, just like for me, it's simpler. Like the thing that I love about acting is just um, is is interacting. It's being in the moment. It's being alive. It's the thing we were talking about with jujitsu. It's like, you know, you're out of your your. It is a mental game, but you're you're taking the the mental part of it away from. Because I, I got a lot of anxiety, so sometimes mm. you know when I'm trying to think, my anxiety does the thinking for me. So thing about I love the thing I love about acting is you can't really operate out of that place it has to be you have to be in the moment you have to be sort of listening and aware of what's going on um so anyway that uh, all of this to say like I think it's fair that uh for me to play by my own rules still and the rules that were established when I came into this thing which was not being on the social media because it doesn't make me happy and nobody actually cares uh, if you have a lot of followers or not. If you do a great audition, they want to hire you, they'll hire you, you know? Um, and the and all that other stuff is just like, I don't know, I feel like I probably it's probably similar to, you know, people who had to get like a computer at home and they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Computers were for work and now we have one at home? No, you know? Did I, sorry, I was a tangent. No, I Maybe agree. Someone with, will respond to this. I agree with you in the fact that you do have your own choice. You should be able to choose what you what you want and what you don't want to do. That's yeah. I agree with you there. I agree with you the fact that you should be hired on your quality of work that you bring in, and a lot of people do get hired off of that. Not everyone, but yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I. The the le- staying off the social media aspect of it, mm. I totally think if it works for it. you, yeah. no, if it works for you, awesome. That's great. And I'm it glad works. you're in a position where you don't have to do that. I know, yeah. Because you are in a good position to do that. You're in a unique position to do that. Not everybody is in that similar situation. And for some people, they have to evolve with the industry. I know, And yeah. so it's not like a one size fits all. And I know for, like, for instance... Our podcast, we have to do social media. We of actually course, have to yeah. like put a lot of work into Promote, that. Yeah. Um, me as an actor, I'm now trying to post more to kind of build up more of my following. Yeah. Because um, I feel like that's just going to help me yeah. in the long run, and it kind of feeds into one another. Um, so I get it. If it's making you happier and you're still working and you're still doing your own thing, well, I'm not working. Or... So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, right now I, you're not. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like, when ideally, when pick up. yeah. And look, I mean, if I don't get a job in I don't know a few years or something, and I'm like, huh, I wonder why. Then you know, Shit, I didn't want to say this, but I have to say it. What? I know why they canceled. Uh, Rookie feds. Yeah, I know why. Why? They were like, Brit's not using social media. Shit. They said that. I don't know if you can say shit. On the- you can. You oh, can. cool. Yeah, and they told Peyton too, and and Peyton and a couple like, other people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I guess I'll just have to find a new job then, because uh, I don't have to conform to the new rules. Sag. I, I don't know. I was just oh. <laughs> sometimes. Don't you ever like see a camera and just want to point at it? Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly to people, but I stop myself a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. back to video games. 
<laughs> I'm not even gonna laugh at that. No, no, no. I'm yeah, yeah. Back to video, video games. What would you say if there was a video game where you had to run away from a killer that you could either play as the person running away, trying to set up traps for them, or as the killer themselves? And there's a wide variety of killers to choose from. Um. Yeah. I. I. I don't want to play. That's what I'd say. Okay. Because I'll tell you A wide variety of killers. Yeah. Yeah. A wide variety, and they and some of them are ranked by tiers. You lost me at rank. They're ranked. You know, like, who's better? Like, no, I know what the word means. Like, E just, rank, D no rank. No one needs to be ranking me. It's not good for my self-esteem or C my ego. C-A-S rank. As an actor, do you, what rank would you give yourself? A hundred billion, trillion, swelling, million. Okay, that's... that's rank <laughs> means nothing. These numbers are silly. <laughs> that's why I gave you a silly number. Because I'm telling. Okay, what show are we going to do together next? Oh, sorry, that's not <laughs> <laughs> I just wipe my neck because you know I was telling you how leaky I am from all the allergies of course right. to your left uh, oh 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 from my you know guys I, I'm I'm so leaky my eyes be leaking my nose be leaking yeah I sweat a lot I've realized I sweat a lot oh I want to update you on some some of our friends oh uh Charles is doing a lot of uh photography and he's, really? Yeah, he's done these uh, little galleries. We actually went to one in Santa Monica. No! Yeah, he's oh. really cool, the stuff he's doing. You should check him out. See? Charles Michael oh. Davis. I love that. You know, yeah. he, he he came to the wedding. Yeah. I I really didn't think he would. There's a couple people who I was like, wow, they never really responded to this like weird paperless post thing, so mm. I guess they're not coming. Jasmine. Um, I sent her an invite. She was probably in Canada, like trying to keep cats alive up there or something. Yeah. No eyes. <laughs> We can't make fun of cats with no eyes. No, we're not making fun of cats with no eyes. No, no, no. We're, we're make making fun of Jasmine, Jasmine caring for cats with no, no eyes. No eyes, and like, Im like, Stop and it. then, and then, and then her going, "This is a lot." I'm like, "Oh no, shit!" Remember? Oh no, shit! <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's a lot to take. Oh, it's care. hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't. It's blind. Oh, almost been all day. It needs two <laughs> shots a day, and it has a nervous disorder. Yeah, it's hard to keep that thing alive, right? <laughs> Don't complain to me about Na it. You chose this life. Nature doesn't want this thing alive, <laughs> and know. you're trying to keep it alive. Oh, that's crazy. Oh man, it's so Fuck. gnarly. Yeah, yeah, but I, I just love so. I love animals so much more than I've ever loved people, and I, I get it. I get it. Good heart. Just uh, here's a great story. I've been teaching a lot of acting at two different uh, uh, institutes. Please, institutes. Yeah, yeah. One is the I <laughs> mentally ill. <laughs> Sorry, I just, the word institute, like, <laughs> it makes me think, like, um, you're, like, in with the crazies being, like, okay, guys, this is how we do the acting. <laughs> That's how we're going to get you out of here. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Look, you put me in front of a mic. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I don't know what snot's going to come flying. Okay, sorry. So you've been doing the acting, teaching. In the institute. I teach at IDSA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Identity School of Acting. It's based out of London, and they have uh, oh. branches in New York and LA. Oh. And I uh, teach a couple classes there, and then I also teach at a uh, East Coast acting uh, school called The Prep. And we do a lot of Zoom coaching and uh, trying Coach to me. What? Coach me. You don't need coaching. Oh, I do. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think so. You're Coach great. me. Wait, wait, seriously. Are you doing privates? Yeah, that's what I do do for <gasps> the, the, the prep and everything yeah oh my god this is so exciting is there anyone that you've worked with where you're like ooh, that person's good yeah um a lot of the actors i've actually worked with are are green and so um there's a lot of basic foundational work that needs to be done mm. and there's some people that i see i'm like whoa there's actually some some actually good things happening here but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done a lot of finding tuning a lot of polishing a lot of uh you know, technical stuff, and so, yeah. Wow, I feel like I don't know any of these things. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. What do you want me to teach you? Teach me. Teach me how to act. What was teach, that me how to teach me how to Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. I was going to say something. Where where was I going? Uh, I don't care. Where, 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 no, I'm a guest now. Ha, ha, ha. Damn it, Britt. Sorry. I know. Uh, I just love a tangent. Let's okay, so you've been teaching. Oh, that's what it is. What show are we going to act in? Oh, oh, oh. Remember are we like we, cop thing? I was going to say, remember our buddy cop thing? We need to have somebody cast us in a, in a, in a buddy cop thing. You Comedy. know, I did this, and I don't even know if I can say this, but I did this, um, well, just because it felt like it was 
counterproductive. I don't know, whatever. Okay. I did a read like so during the during the strike, a friend of mine who's a writer was taking old blacklisted scripts like or sorry not blacklisted oh shit i was like whoa (laughs) whoa not blacklisted wait isn't there like something like a blacklist that's good yeah that's the website where like people like put their screenplays and uh, so no one's choosing the list they just put it up there i think no 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 you have to be like invited to the list i don't know i'm not a writer i just know of it yeah so it's it's a blacklist it's not they're blacklisted. I'm like, I don't know if I can say this. I've been doing blacklisted scripts. <laughs> That's amazing. No, no, no. Um, so a friend of mine did this thing where she was taking old scripts that like had been, uh, had you know, old pilots that had been put out for studios or whatever to make and then they just never got made. Uh, so I did a reading. Mm. And it was comedy. And, I, you know, I... I think I'm funny. And people say that I'm funny. Um, But when I'm acting, I just, I can't. It's like I am waiting to do the funny part. And and then once I hear that no one's laughing or thinks it's funny, I'm just defeated and sad. And I feel like someone has just killed my dog. And then who can be funny in that situation? No one. So, um, but, okay, so I do this script. Mm -hmm. It's a comedy, whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm going to like. Really? They were like, oh, it's a cold read. I'm like, no way, baby. I'm going to be like working on this for the next month. Because um, they give it to you ahead of time. So I get up there and I'm on stage and everybody's all lined up and we're reading our scripts. And there's an audience and everything. Somebody's like narrating it. And I was funny. It's great. I was funny. People laughed. People laughed. And, and some people even said I was the funniest. Wow. And that never happens to me like I am the girl who cries I am the girl who has a mental breakdown I'm great at being sad I'm great at at just looking sad yeah you are scared yeah those kind of like like you have like you know problems internally yes that's what I that's what you're good at I did a self-tape yesterday and I did it with my husband and he goes wow this is a great day to do this self-tape because you got a lot of hectic energy that you're giving and I was like oh yeah Um, but exactly like those are the things that I can really lean into but it's never been funny so all of this to say Mm. whatever it is it's got to be funny Oh, that, that's that's the only thing we can do together. No, but I've never believed in myself that I could be funny. You can be funny, okay? It's just, what is it? Like, uh, how do you... What is funny? Yeah, like, is there, like, a cadence? And people are like, ha, 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 That's or... it. No, that's it. That's what you got to do. You got to go like this. No, but that, that, they don't write that. If they wrote, does a weird move, I'd be all about it. But instead, they're like, here's a really clever line. Ready, set, say it funny. Say it. No, that's that's, that's that, what it's like. That's what it feels like for you. Yeah. And you get. And, and I'm like. like you know. I think you just need to be yourself. Because you, you yourself is funny. Mm. There is no cadence that can be written for you. So you got to just do that. Oh, that's a good. That's a good point. That's good advice. It's very good advice. I'm a coach. Hello, coaching. Come on. Okay, all right. Our time on Adobe Radio has come to an end. However, the show does continue on. Make sure you follow us on YouTube, Spotify, and we're working out on Apple Podcasts, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out sooner or later. Uh, follow Britt Robertson on Instagram if she's no. still on there. No, don't. don't because no, she's, I mean, you can. You can. Okay, all but right. I'm not on it anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get in. Show continues on. <laughs> Britt. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. See, that was funny. Uh, write it. Write it. Maybe it's because we're together that you feel maybe comfortable. Yes, yes, yes. Well, so I think what happened to me or happened for me in that moment yeah. was it was like there was I wasn't getting anything out of it. Like there was no one that was going to say, perfect, you've won the part of yeah, whatever. Yeah. It was just like, great, let's, let's throw, you know, just give it a try. Let's shot in the dark. You know. And I don't like to disparage any kind of actor whenever they try new things. However, if you want to make yourself feel better, you need to watch. Um, and I think we could pull this up um, if you don't mind. It's an episode of We Sims where we had an actor on, and she thought she was funny, and she was not funny at all. She actually tried to play a prank on the show on me because she's like, "This is going to be funny." Wait, really? So, yeah, she was. She was terrible. I'm talking about it was so unfunny. We had. 
And so if you ever want to feel more confident about yourself, watch this episode. And we're actually going to play the clip where she does this prank that she's yeah. been planning. And you're going to see, whoa, I'm funny. Really? When you see her, you're like, yeah, this chi- this is not crickets. funny. Cri- dude, not only crickets. You know what was also not lo- funny? What? The Jasmine Savoy Brown AI. Not funny. Not. We should get. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. I made that. <laughs> Okay, well, it wasn't funny. <laughs> no, I just meant because it was distracting because we knew it wasn't her. Or was it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was my computer breaking down inside of me. Yeah. Um, Let's play it. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're finding it right now. Um, yeah, very, very, um, we actually lost a bunch of followers after that episode. Mm, They're like, no, if you're going to have feels. guests like this. <sighs> By the way, while this is being pulled up, um, isn't that the worst Whenever, when you lose followers, a no, lot no, no. of them. Whenever somebody's like just mean. Oh, yeah. I just read some some comment the other day. It was like, oh, no. why, why are this? Because uh, I was rewatching, um, I think it was some old episodes of you, me, and Charles and, and oh, Jasmine. Yeah. yeah. And then somebody goes, why is this? We- why is Charles always coming on this weirdo show? <laughs> I was like. <laughs> That's amazing. Whoa. That's amazing. That's am- that's amazing to type out and expect an answer from. Also, it's you a know? weird it honestly, it's a weird thought to have. Just saying, weirdo. Big time weirdo. <laughs> no. Well, let's wait till I um oh, let's what uh, let me know when you're recording. God's oh, name. Okay, what okay, so you just asked what? What do you think what do you think is happening? I smell something weird. I smell. Oh, it's just her. Did you fart? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm just letting you know that's what I think is happening. Okay. Something's weird. Uh, you have some kind of costume, I'm assuming. Maybe. Okay. Or maybe I'm just in my true form. Your true form. Okay. <laughs> I like. I don't know. Tips. Okay. Well. So I have my eyes closed for those of you watching on YouTube right now. So may this I open? Is very weird. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Hey. This is the prank. <laughs> See, funny. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> this is the prank. <laughs> it didn't go like I wanted it to. <laughs> hey. Is she a key? Hold on. Is she a second. banana? Yeah, she is. Give me two yeah. seconds. Okay. Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah. Like this, she she was talking this up for like like no like days and days. First oh, of all, girl, come on. This is the worst <laughs> prank I have it's ever. Not a prank. What, what's the prank ever? Surprise! She's seen. a banana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe well, that it's her true form. Multiple reasons. The first one being she looks so cute in there. Nothing though. happened to me. <laughs> she does. She does. Oh yeah. Second. <laughs> second. <laughs> you look like a fool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, pranks on her. <laughs> make you laugh. So. Genius. You did. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. She won. Yeah. She won. Yeah, she won. I mean, kind of. It's hard to win in a banana suit. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd she get it? I don't know. I mean, on on Amazon. I'm gonna say Amazon. Ugh, I hate Amazon. Why do you hate Amazon? Why do you think? Corporate greed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dude, there's so many sound bites from this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to make merch and T-shirts from from you. Just, just don't don't have it be like, <laughs> I love the Unabomber, Britt Robertson. No, that's the first <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I get, just think I he made a lot Unabomber. of really uh, he made a lot of really great points. I don't think he should have killed anybody, but I I think you know the manifesto. It was interesting. <laughs> that is crazy, <laughs> Britt. That is crazy to I'm say. A, I'm a crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God. I absolutely love you. I love Seriously, you. Seriously. I love you because you've never changed. Yeah. In a good way. You've always been yourself, and I got to respect that. I, I do really change do. my clothes, though. Barely. <laughs> I know. Yeah, barely. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, uh, I I respect you for that. Wow. You okay? Yeah. What's up? Is you dripping? I'm just a little sweaty. Yeah. Sometimes I really like to do the sexy voice on the mics. I just wanted to get one more in yeah. for you. How's Floyd doing? Floyd's so good. I love my Floyd, Floyd, Floyd. He's a great guy. I just want to say there was a, a fun interaction I had with him that I've had with multiple people. Oh. Um, with hardcore soccer fans. Oh, and yeah. so, and Floyd, I never took this personally. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> and um, here we go. <laughs> no, <Yikes. laughs> I was like, oh boy. No, no. It's all good. I love um, him so much. I... 
I went to the UK because my parents live in Scotland and yeah. my brothers went and my brothers are huge uh, football fans, soccer oh, great. fans. Yeah. So we all wanted to go to a football game together as brothers. Cute. And I don't follow football, but we went to a Manchester United game because um, my brother likes uh, Ronaldo, who was oh, sure, on, yeah. the, on the team. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. So I went there and so we all bought shirts because it was like a brotherly thing. And I, I see the face you're making already. I mean, I know. I know what this is. Yeah. yeah and so I don't have like a dedication to any team or anything right and um i bought the shirt and i wore it but beautiful experience you wanted a little memento it's literally a family memory you know what i mean like that's it and um and you offended my husband with your family memory yeah he said something (laughs) to the effect of and he wasn't the first person and like take that off oh like you know or something like that and i'm like oh i I can't. Reminds me of my brothers. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a fan. But I'm wearing. The, you know. Then you start having to try to explain things. I feel awkward. And I've had people on like, in public. Yeah, on airplane. They're like, be like, boo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, no, it's crazy. You're like, all right. I just. Oh, the fans are really insane. I love it because I don't care about anything that much. But um, it's I, scary. I love when other people do. You know, I'm like, wow, what it would be like to have that kind of fire in my belly about. Anything. Video games. I hope you get cast in a video game. Me too. And me too. And would you play it? No. No. No, no. Am I the crazy one here, guys? I'd Am rather I, I watch feel like the murder crazy shows one sometimes. for hours. There's plenty of people who don't like video games. Plenty. Peyton, what? Are, are, do, you have a, do you have a thought on this? I don't know if it'll go anywhere. Yeah, it won't. That's, see, that's fair. Yeah, it won't. <laughs> you will not change me. We tried. We tried. It didn't work. Because here's we the thing. We tried. Because, right, right. I mean, you know, Floyd Floyd bought a uh, the, the PlayStation. The PlayStation? One of them. Yeah. And um, because we had a friend who was going through a breakup, and then he w- and we had decided that the, the personality that we wanted to sort of encourage um, was to be, like... He, we wanted the friend to be like sad, you know, because he was already sad, and but like a gamer, like a sad gamer who um, who works out with me because I I've also been training him. He comes to the gym sometimes. So so Floyd bought the PlayStation, and I thought it was for our friend. I won't say his name, Jack. Um, I thought it was I thought it was for our friend, but um, now he just plays it, and Jack got back with the girlfriend. So now we're stuck with this PlayStation. And I'm starting to think that it was never for Jack. (laughs) 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 This is a ruse. (laughs) Can I be honest with you? Yeah. It wasn't for Jack. It wasn't for Jack. Yeah, I know. It doesn't sound like it was for Jack at all. Yeah, it wasn't for Jack. Yeah, yeah. I I figured it out. So I'm probably in this moment now. But um, so I've seen these, these scenes and I've heard people say in the living room, because I don't go in there when the games are being played, but I've heard them say, God, this is better than the real movies, or this is better than any TV show. And I'm just like, losers! (laughs) 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 No, I'm kidding. But you know what? I I can't even watch real TV, like TV shows, movies. I just watch a lot of documentaries. (laughs) Super into like reality and documentaries and murder. Do you think it would be scary if you were married to me and every morning you woke up to a show called Snapped where women uh, snap and kill their husbands? Yes. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Well, Who's... I do it and I'm just wondering, like, does he think does he think I'm going to snap and kill him? And I'm just, like, looking for the best ways to do it. <laughs> you know? Uh, listen. I got a couple if, good if, ones, though. If... <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> if this is later on in the relationship, probably not. Yeah. If this was in the beginning, break up with you immediately. Oh, yeah, because yeah. from the start, I was like, you know what I love in the mornings? This show called Snapped. That's crazy. I know. He's, he's into it. He likes it. No, no, he just likes that I like it. Oh, okay. Well, that's because it's love. Like, he loves you for who you are. I love him. Uh, I cute. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's We're married. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I never thought I'd get married. I didn't care. Yeah. But, you know, he lived in another country and I was here working. So I was like, marry me. Be with me. Yeah. Choose me. Isn't that from a movie? Yeah. And was he just like. No one is ever. Was he like, like this? Was he just like, do that, do that bit again? Marry me. Choose me. Love me. 
all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because back then he did smoke, but now he okay. exclusively vapes. vapes. I don't know if you noticed at the wedding. He was literally yes, he was vaping, vaping a lot. My family, um, well, they didn't love it, but they, they thought it was funny. And yeah. honestly, anything for a laugh. We'll do anything for a laugh. You having a laugh? That's good. That was that was good. Yeah, and I was playing up the bit that I can do. We have a accent. on my soccer team the guy I spoke of before, uh, Matt Floyd. That's my husband. Uh, Jack. Mm. Jack's on our team. The sad guy. Sad, sad gamer. Sad guy, Jack. Sad gaming guy. Sad. Um, he he's on our team and uh, and he's always and I'm like, yo, this is a very low level like play, you know, and and. I mean, I'm playing. I don't even know the oh, rules of the yeah, game. Yeah, it's yeah, low yeah. level. There's no reason to get excited or frustrated or whatever. You mm -hmm. know, our team is called Warm Bodies because we literally just need a warm body on the field. That's hilarious. It's a great name. I People thought that. it was the movie, but no, it's just a body that's warm. Okay. Um. Anyway, so he'll get out. He'll get out there on the field, and and the ref will be like, you know, that that uh foul, whatever. See, I don't know the rules. Flag, and um. And I'm like, oh, God, ah, shoulder to shoulder. Because he, he's Australian and he gets like really wild and he cares a lot about this what game. What does he do? Shoulder to shoulder. It wasn't shoulder to me, shoulder. Um, and so, and he's like always yelling at our sweet little ref who's basically just making it safe for the ladies to be playing with these men. Because um, that's why we can't do the shoulder to shoulder. Um, why am I telling this story? I don't know. <laughs> oh, because of the accent. So now I can't really do the English accent because I feel like I'm just going to offend everyone I love. Um, so I do the Australian accent. But the only thing I know how to say is shoulder to shoulder. Ah. I look at what I've done to this tissue. There we have more. No. <laughs> I don't believe in waste. <laughs> I'm just going to hold you and then I'll repurpose you later. I really got into um, uh, what do they call it? It's a I have a machine. What do they call it when you put all the food in it and then it makes dirt? Compost. Yeah, I got really into composting. Um, and so I can put this into my compost <laughs> and make dirt out of it. That's a tissue, though. I know, but something about these plants and the foods—they just grind right up and I comes out as dirt. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay. But I'm pretty sure when you compost, it's only organic material you're supposed to put in there. No, no. I think, especially if you get some of these worms, you can put a bunch of stuff in there, and the worms will kind of do the stuff. It's like a real, it's fancy stuff. Yeah, but uh, Britt, and I'm being, this is not a bit I'm trying to make. I'm pretty sure tissues aren't organic material, right, guys? I think you there's can like put tissues chemicals. in there. There's a certain. Uh, there's a certain one that you can put a lot of different things in. Yeah, and I've it seen eats it. it. I've seen it on Instagram. Britt wouldn't because she's not on Instagram. But um, <laughs> is it the Lomi? I think so. I love the Lomi. Yeah. Can we look this up because yeah. I just want to make sure you're, you're you're doing the composting? Yeah, right. well, because I'm trying to garden. I keep killing yeah. my tomatoes, but finally got a good lemon out of the tree. And um, and but but I've been making the soil, and I'm really into um, good soil. See, yeah. this is what I'm talking about. Simplicity. Who needs video games when you got soil? Right in your backyard, baby. And so I've been working on a good mix. Uh, good potting soil mix. Just composting in general. Okay. Hashtag we... love the earth. Yes. You can you put paper towels, napkins, and tissues what do you in the home me? These items can be, um, even if they are wet, stained with food, vegetable oil, or grease. Uh, okay, great. Snotty I'd, or otherwise. Great. I'm just happy you're, that's awesome. I'm glad we cleared that up. We need to work on something. Uh, I know uh, this is too much fun being with you constantly. Oh, oh, you mean like, a, oh, oh, sorry. I thought you meant like we need to work on something together. Like you've got a composting problem. I thought that's where you were going. Oh, no, you no, just no, meant no. like, let's work together again soon. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he calls me later. So let's talk about the composting. We need to start a company. Sure. <laughs> um, you guys never picked a show to be on together. Oh. But I think if you guys were like preschool teachers. <laughs> oh, my God. Because then you work with kids. Yeah, uh, which is awful. But, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's I don't, hilarious. I don't plan on having any kids. I might, though. Surprise. Just kidding. I don't really want them. I think uh, elementary school would be so funny. So and funny. And because, you know what I love? The dynamic that I love about, like, uh, preschool 
first of all, the age is really good because they're just so funny at that age. And almost anything they say is kind of funny. Um, but I love the dynamic of adults talking to little kids like they're adults. Yes. I think it's so funny. Because, like, some people be like, hi, honey, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, take that. Hey, what do you pick it up. Put the stuff in there. Come on, let's clean up your toys. All right. Get yeah. back into the playroom. Jesus Christ. Are like, you Miss Trunchable from yes, uh, Matilda here? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I want to be kind of like the, I'm. Uh, you know what I could be? Oh, this is a great idea. Good pitch, Alex. Um, you're, I mean, you can play so many different teachers. You could pick your own. This is who I want to play. Okay. Um, I, I want to play uh, someone who her first career choice um, was she was going to be like a, a – she want, she really wanted to be a me, like mechanic or something and mm, Jasmine are you listening? Oh wait wait what do you mean she's texting you or is this the AI? I hate the AI. She's listening. She's listening? No she's not. Oh uh, cutie. Yeah. Um oh cutie anyway. Um uh, oh oh but like the, my first career choice didn't work out. I won't say specifically what but then um but then I just decided to get like my teaching degree or whatever because it was like a plan B and then I get stuck teaching and I'm pissed yeah, about yeah. it. Okay. And so anything the kids do and they're constantly trying to make me pleased with them but anything they do I'm just like ugh <laughs> stupid. Oh. Not creative enough. What? Get better. <laughs> Smarter. Because okay. I actually think that adults really do want to say that to kids. Really? You yes. think that? I mean, I've done a lot of work on, like, trying to love little Britney, but I think she was a real piece of work. I, I... And I hate all those little kids who look like little Britney. Really? Well, that's just some of the... That's, that was some of the trauma work I did in therapy. So oh, wow. that's how I used to feel. Now I look at her and I'm like, all right. Well, I'm sure a little Terrible bit. Terrible teeth, but whatever. Smile? No? Okay. You have great teeth. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like a, a silly example. Or hypothetical? I don't know. Whatever. No, I don't know anymore. Brit. What is life? We Sam. <clears throat> All right. I'm putting out good juju out there. Hopefully, in the next few months, we'll be on a show together. We'll book something together. <sighs> okay. You know what? This what? is what you should do. Huh. You just text me when you're auditioning for things, and then I will find a role that I'm appropriate for, and then I'll audition, and eventually we'll get on something together. I love that. Okay. It's I love that. I was going to say we could do a spinoff of the Rookie Feds, but then that's not possible. No. But also, um, do you think we can make the kids AI? <laughs> I. Why? Because... They're so annoying to work with. I'm telling you. What? Well, first of all, they can only work for like three hours. That's so true. they're That's like hard. sitting in a room with some teacher and learning nothing. And then they finally get to set and they're like, Where are my Skittles? I'm not doing my acting without my Skittles. You know, uh, For the People, the show we were on. Never heard of it. Just kidding. Okay. So I had an episode where the kid that I worked with and he was one of the best. Oh. One of the best actors I've ever worked with. Okay. This kid was professional, knew his lines, and he was on top of it constantly. And we had such a blast. Every time we'd see each other on set in the mornings, we'd do this thing like it's a fake standoff. Ugh, I and hate like, this. Why do you hate this? I don't know. Sweet. So you do the fake standoff? Come on, tell me more. Okay, we do the fake standoff, and it's like a draw thing. Yeah. And then he would always beat me, and I'd be like, ah! Oh, and then I'd go down. Sweet. He probably loved Oh, he you. loved it. Oh, he, my you know God. what the last day was? He started crying. Because he was like, See, I don't want this to end. Yeah, that's why kids suck. Like, why does everything have to be a cry fest with these kids? Get over it. Somebody needs to just throw them off a big hill. She's joking. She's joking. No, I just, I'm like, I don't so get funny. it. What's going on with these kids? You're Miss Trunchable. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this version of Miss no, Trunchable you know Brit. They, they just shouldn't be working. I, it seems weird. Like, why do we have these seven or eight year olds like controlling? Adults, you know, they, they need to be in school learning uh, mm. and learning real things, not like what well, it is I to don't be like a jerk. I don't like most of our school system anyway. I, I, I don't care because I'm not going to have kids, so who cares? No, 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 no. The school system is so stupid. Like, why am I learning algebra two and I'm in middle school? I love, ugh, you know what? So, since I've been doing the personal training, I realized I don't know math. Well, that's I think, okay. I think they should have just really stuck with the simple stuff. Adding, subtracting, yeah, that's fine. The the number, the times tables, and then the um, what was 
division, fractions. Yeah, that stuff. Percentages. But, yeah, like, that's stuff you use in life, but not like not the cosine, oh, sine. I don't even know what that means, but the triangle stuff, geometry, silly. Basic geometry would be good. I don't need it. I think you know what they should do. I'd be really interested. Is uh, they need to be teaching these kids business, a little business sense. Yeah, I agree. I you know, agree. especially if they're going to be working at seven. They're going to want to know what to do with that Coogan account <laughs> when they turn 18. I know I did. I don't know what was going on. I was like, oh, my God, I have money. And then and then I blew it all. But. Yeah. On Skittles. Nah, Starburst. Starburst. That's right. You would eat the craziest things on set. Like, what? Mountain Dew is so crazy. She's like, oh, crazy. You know, come back to me when I'm, like, chugging vodka on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've gotten progressively more and more aggressive throughout this entire show. And I'm, like, I'm nervous right now. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Sometimes I just feel like, uh, you know, I don't know. Did I br- did no one I- asks me quite, No, one, I don't get to talk like this ever in life. So, I, so sometimes I pitch feelings and I, I don't even know if I feel them or I like that it's just out there with you I'm just I like, like well hey this. would you would you be down if you're interested you are more than welcome to try out one jujitsu class with me I go Wednesday Friday and Sunday nights and they have loner geese as well so feel free to come by and um, me and a gi yeah <laughs> <laughs> me and a gi oh. yeah, yeah yeah no I don't I don't I, I think it would be cute you would enjoy it. Let me know when you want to come. Does everyone wear? And Floyd can come too. <gasps> Wait, what about Wednesday? Okay, Wednesday's no gi, but that's fine. Oh. Okay. You can wear a gi too on Wednesday. It's fine. I don't want to be the only one. No, we do no gi Wednesday, which is basically the same thing. You okay. just wear tight fitting clothes. What's It'll the other days that I? Friday can come? night and mm-hmm. Sunday night. Ooh, Sunday night soccer. So Friday night it is. All right, Friday night next but Friday. It, it can't be this Friday because I have friends in town. All right, next Friday I'll text you. Yeah, yeah, I'll text you Friday. Wait, this Friday? You said you're for the Friendsgiving, then it'd be the following Friday, not this Friday, but the following Friday. This Friendsgiving. All right. We'll Sorry. figure it out. No, that's Sorry. okay. I just okay. Done. Sorry about my palm sweat. Be sweet songs are wetty, sweaty, buddy. Isn't that a song? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks These for tuning palms in. Be sweaty, play, jelly. Play us out, Peyton. I love you. I Thank love you for you. coming on the show. Do you think that last crazy? Thanks for having me. It's uh, it's always a blast. Can you see me still? No, you're completely hidden. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Uh, don't follow Britt Robertson on Instagram because she's not on it anymore. Um, that's Losing sad. Losing followers by the second. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Remember to subscribe to us. Leave a comment below. <laughs> And, um, yeah, we, we, we love you. Thanks for tuning into the show. Hit the bell icon and uh, subscribe to us, and we'll see you next week. Always remember to listen, think, and then talk. Bye.